This is the CS101 UHF handheld RFID reader from Convergence Systems Limited. CSL claims that the CS101 is a crossover product meant to replace a stationary reader. Based on what our team has seen with other handhelds, we were extremely skeptical. However, after hearing several recommendations from our network of experts, our team decided to give it a try. In this edition of the RFID Network, we're going to put the CS101 to the test and see if a handheld can actually match the performance of a stationary reader. Stay tuned. Welcome to the RFID Network. I'm your host, Lou Sirico. In this edition, we're going to take a look at the CS101 handheld from CSL. The CS101 is an EPC Global UHF Class 1 Generation 2 and ISO 18006C compliant handheld RFID reader. If you're not familiar with Convergent Systems Limited, CSL is a global company that designs and manufactures a complete line of high-performance RFID products that solve a variety of customer needs in a fast and affordable manner. CSL has won numerous awards, including the Gold Award for the most innovative EPC RFID product from GS1. The CS101 is a full-size handheld, yet well-balanced and fairly light given its size and functionality. The unit is designed to withstand industrial operations, yet is appropriate for retail and office environments. It has an IP65 rating and can withstand a 1.5 meter drop to concrete in all six orientations. The CS101 can have either horizontal or vertically oriented linear polarized antenna or a circular polarized antenna. A 1D and 2D barcode scanner is integrated into the front of the unit. The unit is extremely versatile with a lot of I.O., including a wide LCD touchscreen, a 58 key QWERTY keyboard, a pistol grip with trigger button for one-handed operation, 802.11b and g Wi-Fi network support, a micro USB 1.1 port, an RS-232 port, as well as an SD expansion slot for Bluetooth or memory. We're on location in Shenzhen, China, where I've just been given one of the first CS501 add-on modules for the CS101 handheld. This is an IP65 rated add-on module that gives me GSM GPRS cellular communications capability along with global positioning technology all to the handheld. So if I'm working in a location where I don't have Wi-Fi connectivity, I can use the same communications technology as a mobile phone to transmit and receive data. Plus, if I'm outside, I can capture the GPS location where I'm reading tags. So even though right now I'm in China, this unit is designed to work anywhere in the world. So we're gonna go put this to the test right now. Here we are doing integration testing with the CS101 handheld and the CS501 module. I've got 15 passive tags set up on this board. Not only am I going to read all 15 of these tags and see how far back I can read them, but I'm going to capture my GPS location and I'm going to communicate that data to a laptop via GSM GPRS technology. Let's see how it works. All right, let's take a look at the results. We're using the demonstration program that comes with the CS501 module to capture our GPS location while reading the RFID tags mounted on the board. Once we've read the tags, we send the information to a PC via a GSM GPRS cellular connection. The data is captured by another program, also included. CSL provides a developer's kit at no cost that allows you to incorporate all of this functionality into your own application. Our team tested two different CS101 handhelds with a variety of passive RFID labels, metal mount tags, and battery-assisted passive RFID labels. Overall, we were very impressed with the tag read performance we achieved and have included details in our accompanying article. The GPS accuracy of the unit tested to 2.5 meters or less and reported the location almost identical to a dedicated GPS receiver that we compared it to. Another new product CSL has just introduced is this mounting bracket that attaches the handle of the CS101 handheld to a tripod. They also have a new AC adapter that replaces the battery in the handheld 
so the unit can receive continuous power. The combination of the two allows me to use the handheld instead of a stationary reader and applications that can benefit from having a touch screen as well as a keyboard. Makes great sense, all for under $2,000. That wraps it up for this edition of the RFID Network. If you'd like more information on the product you've seen or to have your product reviewed, please visit us on the web at rfid.net. Thanks for watching.